Oh, hey there, I'm Tom Merritt from Twit.tv. We are going to take a look at the Logitech Harmony Link. It claims to turn your iPad into the smartest remote in the house. Uh, essentially, it's just an IR blaster. That's an infrared blaster and an app for your iPad that you download. So this is it, kind of a hockey puck sort of thing. Uh, and to set it up, you have to pull out, I've already opened this, this isn't like out of the box, but you get a, a USB cable, you get a power cable, and you get a, an uh, IR extender if you're having a hard time having it reach your television. The first thing you do though is plug it in to your computer and program it. Now, to get that all set up, you plug it in here. And then you go to your browser and you go to my harmony.com okay it's going to ask you to set up a harmony remote you can say yes that's what i want to do it launches this little app it'll ask you to create an account i already have an account though now the other thing you're going to need to do and they give you this handy little chart in the manual is find the model numbers of all your devices but let's let's show you how you add a device so i found out my model number is n1000 see if that takes Please confirm your device, Roku HD. It knows that the N1000 is now called the Roku HD. You can control each device individually, but where the Logitech Harmony remotes get cool is with activities. So I can watch TV, I can watch Netflix, watch a DVD. If I set up the activity, watch Netflix, it's going to say, turn on the Panasonic TV, turn on the Roku, turn on your speakers, and all you gotta do is press the one button to make all that happen. Once it's done syncing and it has all the information in here, you unplug it. Uh, these one and two, these are for extending uh, infrared blasters if you want to reach for components that are all not in the same place. I'm going to prop it up on a book so it's got a good view of all stuff. They want it to be about center, so I'm just going to put it up and kind of tilt it towards so that it's got a clear view. All right, so here's the difference. I've got that blaster over there. This is the old Logitech Harmony 880. You see it's got a screen on here. You have to do everything on the remote. What the Logitech Harmony Link does is say, you don't have to fish around for this anymore. We're gonna put it on an app. You got your iPad with you, you got your iPhone with you. Anybody in the household who's got an iPhone and iPad can control the Logitech Harmony Link. Go to the App Store, search for Logitech Harmony Link. There it comes up. And then you download the Logitech Harmony Link app. It's absolutely free. You launch that. So what it's doing is finding the Logitech Harmony link on my network and finding the database of my profile. And it says, hey, you made some changes online. And now I've got this guide because it knows where I am. I, when, I sign, when you sign up originally, you're going to put in your, your uh, zip code and, and what services you, you uh, use. Barbershop 2, not bad. All right. So I want to watch Barbershop 2. Watch now. And... I'm watching Barbershop 2. Now, if I want to have control just as a regular remote, now I've got this little thing on the side. I can slide out. I can change the channel. There, I just changed the channel up there. I can bring up my menu. I can bring up my DVR list. I can change it to guide. And I'm just tapping on this. So the convenient thing about this is I don't have to point this at anything. As you saw, I was faced the other direction. TV came on anyway. Now on the iPhone, download it the same way. I find the iPhone app to be a lot less useful. Now what's weird about this, let's say I just get tired of this. I'm like, you know what, I just wanna to go to the home button. Okay, where's the home button? There is no home button. This is poorly configured in my opinion, this, this iPhone interface. The iPad interface, not so bad. A few buttons missing here and there. Uh, they do have this one interesting thing. These up and down buttons can be replaced by gestures if you really wanna do it that way, so I, all in all, though, uh, the one big problem I have with this is if I let it sit too long, it loses connection because it's going over the Wi-Fi connection in your house to that Logitech Harmony link, which is going over Wi-Fi to be connected. And we didn't show that setup screen, but that's one of the first things you'll do when you set it up. So in summary, I think I'm going to say don't buy it. The iPhone app is almost useless. Uh, the iPad app is much improved, but still has some drawbacks. The fact that it loses connection when you need it, I still want to be able to just pick up a remote and press play, and that's why I'd say stick with the Logitech Harmony 880. It's got the same setup issues as these two, but I just still find it a lot easier to use, even though I have to point it at the machines. I don't think 
the ability not to have to point it towards your devices outweighs these interface elements that they still have yet to figure out. So maybe someday, but for now, don't buy on the Logitech Harmony link. That's my opinion. You can decide on your own. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm Tom Merritt, twit.tv.